thrilled, Miss Pendry. <gasps> Uh, the raven's heir. <laughs> Soon as one of them's caught, another one takes his place. Hey, Harold, have you read this? Harold? Harold? Harold, you hear me? This is no time for fun and games. Jobs, that's probably him. Where is it? It's good. Then he hasn't got it yet. You mean? It's air. Shh, turn it off. He's gonna steal the eye. But how do you know? Doesn't matter. All that matters is that we catch him. Do you understand? Yeah, but do you understand? You and me, mate, we'll be heroes. We just have to... What? Halt! Stop! The rest! I don't have... I'm on duty. <laughs> You're funny, but you don't look like a... You don't even have a revolver. Disturbing a Swiss officer while he reads a crime novel is a very serious offense. I could arrest you. But I have a pistol, and you don't. Where in the world is it so dangerous that I'd need a pistol? And who might you be? My name is Matthew Miller. And where are you from, Matthew Miller? From Dillsburg, Pennsylvania. But my mom and I live in England. She's some rich old lady. We're on our way to Venice at the moment. We're taking a cruise on a big ship. Impressive. You've already seen half the world. I've entire life. Island. Must be really boring. What's with the gun? What do you need it for? It's the Raven. He was gunned down. I need a Dead birds don't need guns. Nor do live ones. You don't know who the Raven is, do you? The greatest burglar ever. He stole paint from the Louvre. And those priceless diamonds and stuff. Upset. I know who the was. Although, I don't quite bid on jewels. Do these days there are th than your old ago. A precious stolen from the British. Severely injured. Really? Yeah. What? You talk too much, Constable. Zellner, monsieur. Anton Jakob Zelda. Or did he pull a gun on you? Monsieur. Get a move on. Inspector Legrand, it's a great honor to celebrate. We appreciate the support of the Swiss, but it'd be better remain seated and keep an eye on things. But monsieur, surely I can be of assistance somehow. I saw a safe. Everything under control. If you'll excuse me in the first aim of trip. I'm not here to enjoy full scenery. Pond pie. I watched the people on the in Zurich. I know, for example, that that man over there is a violinist. <laughs> Be more impressive if there weren't a violin case next to him. And I believe that the gentleman in the next carriage is a German doctor. 
its way to Italy to take up a new position. That gives you the idea. That piss engraved on his car and carrying a German Italian dictionary. Maybe he's just taking it following in Goethe's foot. Too much. Oh, he's not retiring to it. The Shire. Oh. Zellner. Zellner. If you're such fooling on. I think you're looking for someone. Just guessing. If I were looking for someone, I wouldn't spend the trip cooped up in a freight car. Well, that would seem to indicate that you're guarding something. And what might it be? I really couldn't say. But it must be very important. Why is that? Because you are very important. They wouldn't have a case to you if it... <laughs> Let's assume that we really are transporting something very important on this train. And let's assume that it really is my job to see that it arrives safely. Then why isn't the train crawling with police? You don't want to arouse attention. Evido. But why not? Peace on this train as it is. If there were more, they'd only get in each other's way. For you that I'd pack every seat in every carriage with police. If it were a matter you don't want to scare off potential thieves? Ah, you're laying that. That would exist. It's just not the The same, I can't converse. <laughs> Your hours leave much to be said. I think we'll get along fine. You won't. Pardon. Help. I will help. You're in my country, and I've been ordered to assist you. And that's exactly what I'll do. do. You like it or not? Not so bright. Alchemics Volan. But this is my show, and I need you. But how? No. He did. What? How are you talking to the German doctor? He told you everything himself, and you were just pretending to put two in another. Of it. Do you know who that is? That's Inspector Nicholas Legrand. You have to impress. Him. To the vermin who shot your dear raven? Whoa! It was him? Mm -hmm. Until you most famous burglar. To start. I won't tell you. Alright. Little kid. Whether Legrand wants my eyes open. Maybe I can change his mind. Alright. Violinist is a good-looking fellow, and he's traveling through the most beautiful mountain landscape in the world. But one can only hope that his violin is better tuned than he. Hello, sir. Hello. If I'm not mistaken, you're a violinist. That's true. A wonderful instrument. The violin music touches the soul. That's why I learned to play orchestra. No, they aren't really part of my world. A solo violinist. The best soloists travel a great deal and make a pile of money, or so they say. In that case, I'm probably not one of the best. Are you traveling to Istanbul? Stop. Transfer is to a ship. Uh, Cairo. I'm performing at the reception in the Egyptian Museum. I'm sure you recite success. But tell me, did you notice anything unusual on the train? Anything on persons acting suspiciously, for instance? For heaven's sake, is there cause for concern? Everything is in order, sir. We Swiss are just very cautious people. I understand. No, I didn't. Have a good trip. Thank you. The Vicarage in the Mirror novel by my favorite Sir West McCutt. For years now, I've been trying to convince a group to stage one of her plays. We Swiss are crazy about We don't just have a lot of railroads. We have the beautiful world. Would you be so kind as to close the window? I don't want to sit in the draft. Oh, pardon me. The 
large map shows the different routes of the Orient Express. This train began in Paris and ends in Istanbul, as usual. Fortunately, it will make most of its journey without me. This is the first car. The coal tender should be directly beyond this door and in front of it, the engine. The violinist is a good-looking fellow. And he's traveling through the most beautiful mountain landscape of the world. But one can only hope that his violin is better tuned than he. Very kind of you. Thanks. Oh! oh pardon me! No, no, no problem. The uniform is waterproof. Uh, Mr... Lucio. Professor Edgar Lucio. Oh, a professor? I so see you teach at the Sorbonne. No, his music. Safe. Although I up any understand concerns and especially the robbery at the museum. Yeah, off I mean rather much as usual, Professor. Of course, Constable. What's the door? I can't open it. Ah, sort it out somehow. The compartment is locked. But I didn't lock it. I don't even have a key. I asked the steward. He was going to bring me one, but he never came back. Someone locked it. Find the steward. He needs to bring me the key immediately. Calm down, Professor. I'll see what I can do. You don't understand. I have to get back in my compartment. All right, just wait here. Perhaps a thoughtful conductor noticed that Professor Lucien wasn't in it. The label on the door reads Baroness von Trebitz. Blue blood on the Orient Express. Yes, what is it? Whoever that is, James, ask them whether they found my purse and then closed the door. The noise on this trip crazy. You're missing a purse. Was it stolen? At the very least, I cannot find it, sir. It was stolen. When did you... When was the last time the Baroness saw her purse? What? In Zurich, on the platform, sir. I just asked where you last saw her. In Zurich, on the platform! James, tell him that I still had it when I got out to stretch my legs. The Baroness says... Maybe you lost it there. What? The Baroness never loses, sir. I never lose anything. Well then, I shall be on the lookout for your purse. If I might ask you a few questions about your fellow passengers. I thought he was looking for my purse. James, tell him to look for my purse. The Baroness wishes that you search for her purse. But couldn't we perhaps... <sighs> All right. First, the purse. I... <sighs> I will have a look around. Thank you, sir. I never thought I'd ever meet you. Pardon me, but we'd prefer... It's all right, Inspector. The Vic Mirror for the Fifth East. That's nice. Constable... Uh, Zellner. Anton Jakob Zellner. This is my companion, Miss Miller. A pleasure. Ask what you're doing here? Are you on holiday? Yes, so to speak. The first and last holiday of my life. Madam? In writing, though, it became and I've said must a holiday. You impossible evokes character. I have bad news for I the old wretch off years ago. I I understand. Not discuss my will. Oh fine. Are you traveling to Istanbul, Lady Westmacott? No. We are on our way to Venice. From there we will take a ship to Cairo. As you may know, I have a penchant for archaeology. I fund a few excavations in Egypt. I travel to Egypt by ship as a young woman. And now I'm doing it again as an old woman. 
As a rider, you must be very observant. You have to study the behavior of people around you to create the characters in your novels, don't you? I solved the mystery of human nature a long time ago, Mr. Zellner. Since then, most people just bore me. I had the impression you were eyeing me suspiciously as I came in. What do you want to know, Constable? Notice the man who just walked into the next carriage with a cup of tea? I did. He seemed nervous. He was waiting at the bar for the steward, and since the steward never appeared, Leck did to help himself. He took two biscuits. He seems pretty young, but he's already a professor at the British Museum. Interesting. I'll have to talk to him later. Just out of courtesy, of course. Of course. Did you notice the blonde man with the violin case? I did. He introduced himself and tried to make a good impression. Like him at wealth and fame, like moths to a flame. But his charms failed on you. I know him by name. Dave Kreutzer. He was a drain on my friend's purse. Do you think he had a money problem? People like him always have a money problem. No matter how you give them, they always spend twice as much and complain that they have far too little. There's something else. Passenger's purse has gone. You have I'm Sorry, Kanzo. With murder, not burglary. Have you asked my boy yet? Thanks. I'll go and do that now. Passengers again. Did you notice anyone? Dr. Ines. Everyone. The inspect in the direction of the freight car a few minutes ago. Isn't that the Frenchman? It is name when he caught the raven. I wouldn't quite say caught. What? Why don't you ask me about him and my theory about what he's doing here? I don't think we should discuss. Wrong, right. That the day or will you constable? As much as I like to keep talking, duty calls. You were right. Madam? I did observe you as you came in. You seemed so... Uh, eager. It's been a long time a chance to prove myself, madam. And this is it, your chance? I do hope so. Then grab it. Even small people can make big changes, as my friend likes to say. I shall do my best. Steward must have forgotten the toothpicks. Nor would offer them discreetly after dinner. than child. Their only drawback, they don't play nice with false teeth. Hmm, maybe if I just suck it. Who'd have thought that one day butterscotch would remind me of my age and of all the things I had to leave behind? I suppose the steward won't object to me having a look around in his absence. The pad on which the steward writes orders. Empty. Maybe he didn't use it because there's not much to do today. I don't need the pad, but the pencil might come in handy. The 
the steward probably uses the scissors on hard to open packages. These days nearly everything is sealed up tight. A colleague recently told me about dry powdered soup in small bags. I couldn't believe it. Perhaps he keeps the compartment keys in there. Locked. Hmm. Where be? This is the steward's own little kingdom. But as long as he's not around, I'll be upset if I take a look. The drawer is locked. And the steward probably has the key. But where is he? A shortwave radio. It's amazing how small these things have become in years. A shortwave radio. It's amazing how small these are in the last 10 years. A shortwave Mr. Zellner. Right, right. How can I help you? Tell me, did you notice anything suspicious here on the train or in Zurich? You mean, except for the fact that it's stolen on the platform? reason? Just routine. Constable Zellner, please don't think I'm naive. I spotted the inspector from Interpol. Legarde is his name, if I recall correctly. Armed. If you say so. At the train station in Zurich, he put a cash box into the safe and then kept close watch as it was loaded onto the train. Don't tell me that a man at his pay grade routinely hems across the Alps just to keep an eye on boxes. A cash box? Like the ones you'd find in safe deposit boxes? Press up. And I believe we both have a good idea just what's inside. I do indeed have a theory, but... What's yours? A ruby one. One of the legendary eyes of this, the second jewel, an emerald, in a Swiss bank vault. If I re both jewels were supposed to be together in Kyle's time in 50 years, it does make one wonder. Indeed. In London? Must have been professional. The was able one of the best security systems. Most impressive. Peter. <laughs> without collateral damage. It seems like the has finally found a whistle. Forward to new and spectacular. I'm afraid Joy is exploits this time around if the new Raven is reckless. That's your prerogative. May I borrow your newspaper? Take within the burglary. The rest is in. Aren't you? Me out. Here you go. Shit. Something else. Do you know where the con hmm. know that myself. I told him to search for my missing suitcase in Zurich. He hasn't got back to me yet. He's probably in cahoots with the thieves. And didn't bother getting back on the train. If we took down on vermin like them. Rule the world one his job. It's bad Ines is missing her purse. A baroness? This train is really full of the queen or crime there. And Baroness as well. Have you seen the West Macot? You were, huh? Well, I'm an admirer of her work. I like so. I once read in the news only Bible sell more copies than her crime novels. I read that too. She must be filthy rich. As a doctor, I'd have to work a thousand years to end of money. A vit Dr. Gebhardt. Goodbye, Constable. It was a pleasant chat, really.